the flotilla is six boats. They sailed from ports from the very bottom of New Zealand in Bluff to the very top of New Zealand in the Bay of Islands. They're a loose collection of individuals and sailors who feel really strongly about the ocean. They feel really strongly about New Zealand's coastline. They feel really strongly about New Zealand. They feel really strongly about their kids' future. As soon as Anadarko finishes here, they're going to be going to the east coast off Otago. They want to drill there as well. It seems that we're in a kind of end game where the desperation for more fossil fuels is driving people to crazier and crazier behaviour. And just as the world fossil fuel industry is stepping up its efforts to get more out of the planet, we've got to step up our efforts to stop them. I wish our government was brave enough to actually say, no, we made a mistake. This really isn't the kind of energy investment we need. We need to be investing in our renewable clean energy, our expertise that we actually have here, homegrown, that we have already. My fears for the future are that we're locking ourselves into a disaster, basically, that we can't get out of. I mean, already, I think if you're my age and generation, we have to think pretty seriously. I know, um, so Jeanette, and Bunny are worried about their kids and grandkids. For me, I think it's more a worry of, can I even have kids? Can I even bring kids into a world that is gonna look a mess and, and that we've allowed to turn into such a disaster? So I'm, I'm really scared. New Zealand's only a tiny dot on the surface of the planet, but it's our home and we have to protect our home. But we need to play our part here in a global movement. This is a responsibility that we all share and yeah we're just, um, this is just one small drill off the coast of New Zealand but it's part of a bigger picture and we're affecting our Pacific neighbours, we're affecting everyone. It's my fears that the indifference of people today to do something about this will give us a tomorrow that we desperately don't want. And it's possible for all of us, ordinary people, to say to our government, we want a different choice. Some people say that it's too late, and it, it's too late for the planet, it's too late for climate change, that there's nothing we can do. I will never accept that. I know in my head that things have gone pretty far, but I believe that as long as enough of us want to make a change, that we still can. And so my message to everyone is, don't give up. No, I'm not a hero. I'm just an ordinary person doing what I can.